Hey everybody, in this episode we're going to look at how to hang two hammocks side by side using the same set of trees. Not only am I going to show you how this is done, but also what are some of the reasons or situations you'd want to use a system or method. And also the equipment you'll need to achieve the ultimate side by side hang. Now there's a few reasons why you'd want to hang two hammocks side by side on the same set of tree. And one of them might be, you may be going with another person on a backpacking trip and adventuring in this epic area where there might be a good number of hanging trees that are limited. For me, one of the biggest reason is when I take someone out for the very first time or someone that might be afraid or unsure, being separated, being a little distance away from me during the nighttime in the wilderness, could be a little scary, say like a wife or a child. But if you have the hammock side by side next to you, this will really help them feel nice and safe and secure. Now these are some of the pearls for the system. To achieve this, you're gonna need two extra things, two pieces of gear for this method that I'm gonna show you. And the first being a suspension, which you would always need with the hammock. But this suspension is a Dutchware gear beetle buckle. You'll need both the hardware and the straps. Now, if you're not sure what length to get the straps in, always go with the longer ones because you're looking for trees in large diameter and you need to wrap those straps around the trees and also to reach out to hang the hammock. What makes a beetle buckle unique, there's a hole in the middle that has a diameter to fit the tip or the point of the spreader bar. To adjust a beetle buckle, to loosen or lower your hammock, put your thumb on the anchor or the connection point and put your index and middle finger on the top tabs. You don't pull it. This is a mistake a lot of people will make. You move your thumb down so the beetle buckle is parallel or perpendicular to the strap, then move downward. When tightening or raising the hammock, just pull the other or loose end of the strap. Now the next piece of gear is a spreader bar. You can go in the woods and find a large stick to save weight not carrying spreader bars. But it is a lot easier to purchase a spreader bar and sacrifice in carrying that extra weight. Dutchware gear sells a set made out of aluminum, but if you want to cut the weight in half, you can also get them made of graphite. Now you want the length around 32 inches, which is 81 centimeters. The spreader bars that I'm using is from Warbond. It's on my Ridge Runner hammock. And the suspension, which is a beetle buckle, which are made out of titanium, you want that suspension at the head end. And at the foot end, you can use any other type of suspension that you have. Before you set up, you have to find two trees, if possible, with a large diameter. If not, one will do. But if neither of the trees have a large diameter, it will still work. Try to find trees that has a distance anywhere from 15 to 20 feet, or four and a half to six meters apart. First, I like to take the beetle buckle of suspension for the head end and attach it around the largest diameter tree of the two. Now the attachment on the end of the suspension, either being a loop, clip, or a carabiner, must come around the tree, come back to the same spot where you started, then attach to the suspension. If you have it on the other or opposite side, instead of the pressure being on the tree, It will then be on a connection point where the pressure or stress will now be on the straps, which can cause damage or to break the straps. Now after you place the suspension around the right side of the tree, now you wrap it around the left side of the tree. Now start wrapping the other beetle buckle around the left side all around the back and all the way around to the left where you attached it. On the left strap, the pressure will be around the left side of the tree. On the right strap, the pressure will be around the right side of the tree. Then take the other two suspensions and do the same on the trees on the foot end.
Now after this has been done, now it's time to take the two hammocks and hang them on the four suspensions one at a time. Take the first hammock and attach it to the beetle buckle to the head end, if your hammock has one. Then to the foot end with the other suspension on the same side. Then hang the other hammock the same way. After you set up the two hammocks, now it's time to set up and put on the spreader bar. By putting a tip in the hole of the beetle buckle on the inside of both hammocks, which will spread the hammocks apart far enough so you are not against each other. Voila! Now comes the challenging part, adjusting both hammocks to achieve the ultimate hang. I brought myself a little helper that's going to show us what it's like to have two people in a hammock, especially a child. I'm Max and I like to film and I'm going to help my papa today. You first get in your hammock. Then you get out and make the necessary adjustments. Then the other person, only with them in the hammock, have them get out and make the adjustment for their hammock. This will give you a good starting point. Then you get both of you inside at the same time to dial it in. Then both of you get out, and this is where you make the final tweaks. After that, you're good to go. This is a little time consuming, but worth even those little adjustments to achieve a flat lie in both hammocks. Always have the lightest person get in their hammock first, because when the heavier person gets in, the lighter person will be elevated upward. Unless you're hanging on two trees that have a large diameter, you'll have to lie the same way in the hammock or both with the head to the left and feet to the right, or vice versa. Otherwise, you'll be bumping into each other, especially when both feet are on the same side. Now, con is, if you move, the other person will feel it. Hey, what's all the hubbub? For an example, I'm the type that takes a long time to fall asleep, sometimes up to an hour. At home, I move and flip around from side to side, and when I'm in my hammock, I'll take my legs and move it on one side, and the other, and the last time I was hanging with my wife with this system, she told me with me moving around during the night, she felt like she was getting seasick. And she told me after that, she's gonna find her own trees to hang her hammock. Now when using a tarp, wider is always better. You'll want the length as long or longer than the length of the hammock. A rectangular shape works the best, but a hex tarp will be just fine, if possible, Use hiking poles or sticks to elevate the side of the tarp, or tying off on a nearby tree or vegetation works even better. Now if there's something that I missed, or if you have any questions or comments, please write them down below. I'd love to hear from you. This is the Marine, thank you for watching, and God bless. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, Feel it coming in Golden